Trump rounds. Yeah, those just came in. Ooh. That Are we going to oh, have yeah. an October surprise? We're in the end game phase of things. I think that this next four months could cause a silver price explosion. So I went down to the water and found my faith Because I don't want to be stuck in the good old days That's when you say, I swear you ain't seen nothing yet The new Cross and Flag Gold Bars, exclusively at sdbullion.com Local Silver Mint. Hey, Yankee. <laughs> great to see you, buddy. Great How you doing? Great to see you. I'm doing great. <laughs> We've had an incredible September, haven't we? Oh, the fun never stops. September was wild when it came to the spot price of silver and gold. We saw it really pop. Yep. And quite a roller coaster along the way. True. True. Yeah. What's hot? Let me show you some of the most popular things. Okay. First, 10 ounce bars. People buying a lot of 10 ounce bars. And we have these Golden State Mint Bars. They're really nice. They're, they're high quality. They're pure silver, of course, great price. Mm. And then we have some kind of unique stuff. These Angle Hard Bars came in. They're from, you know, probably the 1980s, I would say. They're yeah. a lot more money than some of the other dealers. Of course, you got your local silver mint bars. Our bar is a little <laughs> more expensive, but it feels really great in the hand. It's locally made. Five ounce, not as popular. Premium's a little higher on it, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. they're cute. And I mean, they are, they're, they're adorable. Look at them. They're like a 10 Aww, ounce bar, only half the they're size. They're so Aww. cute. All right, let's, let's move on here. So what, <laughs> what else do you have that's the, selling well? The other well? thing, uh, silver buffalo rounds. Simple and effective. Now they're priced talking. really Ooh. reasonably. You can get the silver in one ounce increments. I am a fan of divisibility. So when the price is so close on the 10 ounce bars and on the one ounce rounds, I tend to like the one ounce rounds for that, just the divisibility yeah. one at a time trades. I yeah. love it. Ooh. Trump rounds. Yeah, those just came in. Ooh. Yeah, the customers have been asking for it and we did have some, however, they sold almost instantly and then the <laughs> customers wanted them. So we were able to get these. Uh, they're, they're very well executed. They're pure silver. Uh, so, I mean, it's, it's hard, hard to go wrong. All right, but you're, you're making me think of something I was meaning to ask you, and this Trump round just brings it to mind. Are we going to oh, have yeah. an October surprise? Yankee, I think that this next four months could cause a silver price explosion. Possibly October, but if not October, I think in this next four plus or minus months, I think we're going to see some dramatic changes, some major intensity, probably some civil unrest. I see more tension about the election than I've ever seen. And that regardless of the outcome of the election, I think that there's going to be a lot of angry people. If I had to make a prediction, mm -hmm. I think that the less popular candidate, you mm -hmm. know who I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I think the less popular candidate is probably the one that's going to win the election. And if that happens, the secondary effect of that may be that the more armed group of people may be the also more angry group of people and that there may be a lot of tension and that people may be very upset about the outcome of the election. And so then the conservatives the people who have more, you know, Second Amendment stuff going on that they might be angry and that might justify more control from the top to where uh, the government may use and activate new agencies and more groups to take more control. And that just as a segue as we go closer mm -hmm. and closer to the central bank digital slave currency. There's a lot in there, man. What would that do for the price of silver and gold? Right now, there's so much global uncertainty. There's war drums beating mm -hmm. all over the place. There's an, just the most ridiculous election that we've seen so far. There's the, the national debt and the interest on the national debt has now exceeded the national defense budget. We're in the end game phase of things. 
And if they unroll the central bank digital currency, in order for them to unroll that, I think they have to use the same technique they used in the past, which is to crash the current system so that people beg for the new system. Wow. Which wow. is, which Yankee, that's all the more reason why I feel like physical silver is so important because you can give it to a guy in trade for goods and services, regardless of the condition of the financial system or internet access. Gotta have silver. Yep. Don't want to be frightened, but I'm more focused on being prepared. Yes, thank you. Focusing on fear hmm. doesn't really help, but you can, you can focus on what action can I take to to reduce my risk of this thing that I'm afraid of. Mm. And if you do that and then you take action, you will feel better. One of the actions I think to take is to pick up some silver. I've talked to people recently that have never purchased their first ounce of silver and I was able to successfully talk them into it. It's tough to say whether we're days, weeks, or months away from this shift financial system shift or almost a reset of sorts mm -hmm. though it may take longer than four months for the for the whole thing to take place but that i think within this four months we're going to see some dramatic events but that those may continue to unfold and get bigger right. over the course of the next 12 to 24 months a central bank digital currency a reset Who, okay. who who's behind this so i like to refer them to them as the global power elite. They don't publish their names and they don't really tell us who they are. And in fact, they use face men in order to present their ideas to us. And those face men are sort of like politicians. Men and women. <laughs> men and women, yes, excuse me. There can be women in this too, and there definitely are. And that they are like politicians that present the ideas and they're there to take the credit or the blame because the tyrants learned a long time ago that if they put themselves on the stage and present the ideas, then if it goes awry, then they get squashed and their reign ends. But if they use politicians, they use these face men. Puppets. And the face puppets. men puppets, yeah. And they come in the form of all different types of people, mm. not just officially politicians, but some mm -hmm. that are, in char are, are the leaders of big companies or technology companies who make different statements or claim to be for freedom or other things while simultaneously they may be doing things that are to the contrary. They control the creation of the money. They control the money. And that to me is so important because it gives mm -hmm. them, when they can print this money with no backing, it gives them a near infinite budget to buy the politicians, to buy the decision makers, to pay the propaganda machine. Mm. Wow. Do, you don't own a tinfoil hat, do you? I, well, actually I do. I have a row of them. <laughs> But you didn't tell me anything. I sh if I would have known, I would have worn one. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And, and of course, I'm kidding too. I, I, I but, only have one. But in all no. seriousness, oh, back to silver and gold. All right. So you do advocate for gold too. I love gold. Gold going to go up a lot, but I think silver going to go up a lot more percentage wise. Mm. And then gold, you'd buy a house or land. But with silver, you're going to buy food, supplies, a rifle. Yep. For yep. silver to be at a 1 to 85 ratio of gold like it is now, that to me is far off balance. And it's going to have to go back to a more nominal number right. at some point. And, and also because there's so much paper contracts out for silver relative to the actual silver, that to me is a lot of what's, what's keeping that down. Absolutely. But I think gold's going to go up too. Mm -hmm, so that for mm -hmm. silver to catch up to gold mm -hmm. and get closer to that ratio, we're going to see that uh, gold goes up and silver is going to have to go a lot more to catch up. All right. So I, I, I do love gold, but I love silver. And I know you do, Silver Dave. What else has been really selling well? How about the stuff that you make? How, how's that that's working a, That's out a great it? question. In Oops. fact, our one-tenth ounce rounds have been selling more than ever before. We really like them. Mm -hmm. They're a much lower premium than the gold back, for example, and they're a lower premium than other one-tenth ounce rounds. Mm -hmm. If you compare apples to apples, looking at different one-tenth ounce options, mm -hmm. ours is the lowest price option for one-tenth ounce. Now, 
people will pay more for one tenth ounce than you will for one ounce or 10 ounce bars. And that's because it costs more to make because there's a lot more pieces, but also the way you capitalize and get the most benefit of one tenth ounce is not to sell it back for dollars, but to spend it on goods and services. If you pay twice as much for one tenth ounce, but you get 10 times as many pieces, that may serve you in a barter situation. And Yankee, while you're over there, there's something else that I wanted to say. If what happens this next matter of months happens, if this happens the way I, I think, then local Silver Mint needs more amazing people. We are gonna need to hire some special jobs. Basically, in a nutshell, we need a social media director, mm. a operations officer, a in showroom salesman that meets with the customers and a remote salesman who works remotely and or travels to different cities uh, in order to pitch and promote our product. And also all these people need to be very enthusiastic and or passionate about silver. We're not looking for people who want a job. We're looking for people who want an adventure, a career. Wow. This is regardless of whether what you were saying happens. You need these we people. We need the people anyway. Right, right. If you know someone that you think that might want to see this or might be interested in this, please share the video with them. Mm -hmm. Let them know about it. Also, if you want to learn more about these positions, go to localsilvermint.com and click on the career opportunities page on the website. I mean, it's taken us 12 years to really start getting some momentum. But now, it's half. Thank you so much, Yankee. I appreciate it and keep on stacking. Well, Dave, what if I wanted to apply? Uh, you. Um, well, we do have a janitor position available. Mopping the floor. Jeez.